This video is going to be a bit different. I want to do a fan cast video for who I would choose to be in a Running Man movie remake. They're actually making one. It'll be directed by Edgar Wright. So um, if you're unfamiliar, The Running Man is a 1987 dystopian action sci-fi movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger as a soldier who's framed for a massacre and called the Butcher of Bakersfield and he is put in a military prison and he escapes uh, with some rebels, uh, the resistance however they are captured and put in uh, to the Running Man which is a gauntlet uh, you have to survive an hour running through different zones with uh, being chased by stalkers who are like professional killers um, and then if you can make it to the end you, you, you get to escape or so they say so I'm going to use my knowledge of Edgar Wright's um, people. You know, he's, he's worked with a lot of actors throughout the years. So the, the fan casting won't just be uh, over the top, but I'm not going to have a limit on budget either. So let's start with every man, Ben Richards. Ben Richards is the protagonist. We're not going based off the Running Man book in which um, in the book, the Ben Richards is a father who basically has, signs up for the Manhunt game show to get money for medicine for his daughter. And we're not going by that, though. We're going with like a big beefcake kind of actor. Originally, I kind of wanted Dwayne Johnson, but he's got that kind of weird ego thing where he doesn't want to die or be injured or take punches in a movie. That, that's kind of bad for, for a protagonist movie. Uh, probably rated R. So I'm thinking more everyman type of actor. Someone like uh, Frank Grillo or uh, Joel Kinnaman. I think I also had one more. Let me just check real quick. Um, you want someone that looks like uh, kind of tough, but not too tough. John Bernthal, that's the other one. Any one of those three are a solid leading man. Look like they can take on multiple killers. Uh, they're all likable too. Uh, moving on to the love interest. Uh, the original was played by uh, Maria Conchita Alonso. Um, so I want to keep it Latina. I would go for like Ana de Armas if you can afford her or um, Anya Taylor Joy. Oh, wait, Anya Taylor Joy is too young. Yeah, because if they're love interest, yeah, okay, I'll stick with Anna Dara Moss then. You know, get someone really popular. If not, you have to go with like Genesis Rodriguez or someone, someone, you know, Latina still. You want to keep that sort of Latin flavor because uh, the original cast was pretty diverse, to be honest. Moving on to the stalkers, the best. Oh, wait, no, let's go. Damon Killian first. Damon Killian is the um, host of The Running Man. He's like this really over-the-top Machiavellian weasel, like a snake in, in, in a suit, basically. Two-faced, awful, the worst human being, you know, a corporate, you know, jerk, basically. Kind of like um, that, that weasel in RoboCop, basically. So we want someone a little bit of showmanship, you know, someone who can be a little smarmy, someone who could like do a late night show. So my top pick is Christoph Waltz, you know, he's old enough uh, to play it, you know, he's got that kind of like theatrical sort of like whimsical charm to him. My backup was um, Robert De Niro, might be a little too old, but you know, he was really good in Killers of the Flower Moon and I think he's still got that talk show energy because of Joker, you know, you've seen him in Joker. So either one, you want someone like a big veteran, you know, if they're going to be like the the, the big bad, you want someone, you know, big. All right, now the fun part, the stalkers. The stalkers are the, are the killers um, th that have cool weapons and armor. And um, I don't know if they're going to reimagine the, the different characters, but in, in this situation, we're not going to come up with new stalkers. We're just gonna, if I had to use the framework of the original stalkers, that's what I'd use. So uh, for Fireball, he originally played by, uh, by a football player. Um, with a jetpack and a flamethrower. So since Edgar Wright's already worked with him, I think Jamie Foxx would be a good fit. You know, Jamie Foxx can play that kind of like cool, well, I mean like Jim Brown didn't have much of a like presence. He was the last stalker sent in and it was a quick battle, but Jamie Foxx would do, do okay in the, in the role. If you he didn't want to do it, then uh, Michael Jai White, maybe throw in some martial arts, you know, jazz it up a little bit as well as the jetpack and the flamethrower. All right, next one is another favorite, Dynamo. So Dynamo is kind of a joke in the original movie. If I had my way, people would hate it, but I say James Corden. He can sing opera. He's kind of a jerk in real life, um, but most people would, would boo me off the stage for that casting choice. So my backup is Nick Frost, obviously, a big guy who could be a little goofy. Uh, you know, he's worked with... Um, Edgar Wright before. I think that's a good choice. My original pick is James Corden, but if, you know... Nick Frost would be okay too, I guess. Uh, he's a little bit older now though, we'll see. 
All right, the next one is Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw is uh, one, the guy who walks around with a giant buzzsaw. I think he has a motorcycle too. Yeah, and he's got like a grappling hook on the motorcycle. So I, my pick is Michael Kudlitz. I want someone like a big biker looking guy. Have you seen him? I haven't watched uh, Superman and Lois season three, but he plays Lex Luthor in that. He looks really bikerish, you know, play around with mustaches and beards. I think he, he could do the role pretty well. Uh, my backup is Wyatt Russell. You know, we've seen him do a villainous role kind of before as U.S. agent. I haven't seen that show, to be honest. But I like Wyatt Russell and other things like uh, Overlord. He's got like, kind of a sinister streak in Overlord. So I think he'll do really good as... Um, you know, a sort of just mean guy, you know, like he's got, he can play villains, you know, he's got one of those villainous faces, even though he's handsome, you know, he's the son of Kurt Russell, but I think he could, you know, he could pull it off. All right, uh, we're getting to the end there. Uh, Sub-Zero, Sub-Zero is the, um, played by Professor Toru Ta Tanaka, I think, yeah. So he was the first stalker to be sent out with his um, deadly razor blade hockey stick. Um, I don't. I can't think of any Japanese actors that are large, but I would pick Ma Dong Siok or Don Lee. He wants to break into international films for sure. It'd be a quick, cool role. He's big enough to be imposing and menacing. It'd be a pretty good, uh, you know, villain for them to fight. I think, in my opinion. And last but not least, Captain Freedom, an ex stalker turned. Um, what was the word? Fitness uh, instructor, uh, originally played by Jesse the Body Ventura. Uh, very campy in the role, but he doesn't actually get to fight Ben Richards. They do something in the movie differently. But if I had to pick, I would want Dwayne Johnson, to be honest. Dwayne Johnson would be the perfect pick for uh, Captain Freedom, mainly because, you know, he's got that sort of, like, big body energy, being an ex-wrestler of sorts. Um, also, he wouldn't technically fight the main character and lose. So, like, there's no problem with his contract of, like, you know, being you know, getting in the way of that. I think that that would be the great way to, you know, obviously this movie would be so expensive with this cast, but, you know, th these aren't impossible to get. I mean, maybe the hardest one to get would be Christoph Waltz because he's an Oscar winner and James Corden because people don't like him. But I mean, maybe Ma Dong Siak because a lot of these roles are smaller. Like if you think about it, uh, the stalkers in the original movie, 1987, were all played by lesser known actors, right? They didn't get like Carl Weathers to play Fireball too big, so they got someone else, you know. But uh, you could also cast lesser known actors or action stars or, you know, like, like something like Scott Adkins or something and some sort of like flamboyant sort of motorcycle riding guy with like knives on his sleeves or something. It, it's fun, you know. I'm, I'm looking forward to the Running Man remake and I definitely um, would like to see what they do.